Greetings everyone and welcome to my 100% blind playthrough of Stellar Depopulation Ultraviolence. This map was made and submitted by Malefication. Another submission coming through. This is submission number 2, Stellar Depopulation. Alright, let's see. We'll get a chain gun. Let's kill these guys. Oh, this kind of reminds me of um, TNT map 14. Steelworks. Although Malefication did mention Plutonia. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, this map is inspired by early memories of Plutonia, so. Hold on a sec, I saw some lights here. Any secrets here? No. Okay. Moving on. Nice custom MIDI. It's a mid-90s metal song rendition. Hopefully it doesn't copyright... Uh, cause copyright issues. But even if it does, who cares? I don't. Alright, so we get some armor. We get the SSG. Boy, have I missed you. I missed you in You Are Meat. Ooh. Some cacos woke up. Here they are. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It's like in E-Form 2, where the Kekos are um, dormant. Somewhere below you. And then when you make a sound, you can all see them rise up. That's always a very cool effect. Alright. Also just noticed some custom textures. Pretty sure these are custom. Yeah, these are. Ooh. There we go. I need a red key for this. Is there anything interesting about this pillar, maybe? Hidden switch? No. Ah, convenient barrel. Always fun. And speaking of fun, let's even get the main pistol in fight. I do not trust that switch. I'm pretty sure it's gonna lower the red key or something. But also, maybe lower this door. But uh, we shall see. Let's kill the revenants first. Oh, there we go. Angry imp. Oh, very nice. Alright, switch. What do you do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. I think... I need this. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> this is always uh, an issue with um, blind runs. The submitter did say it was um, count level 2, but maybe it's a fake switch. Who knows? Maybe just need to move on. Nope. Nope. Okay, I, uh, I think this was tested on GZ Doom. So, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Now with GZ Doom. Let's see if it works now. Yes, it does. Okay. So I have to stick to GZ Doom, which means... I cannot rely on rewinds if I do die. So... I'll try... to not use saves. But you never know. Also, this is a secret. I cannot check the map, because it's gonna show the... Um, what? It's gonna show the... Um, secrets and kill count, so... Be careful with that. I didn't disable it in GZ Doom. I forgot. But something tells me this map... Will not... Be too difficult, though. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. Suddenly, the revenants. Ah, oh, but I can just pile them up here. So yeah, um, it's it's a newbie mistake. It's no big deal. All these engines for Doom are very confusing. Like in the submissions page, I ask uh, what is designed for, and the option is Doom Two. 
But it's also G Zedum. And people think, oh, well, it uses Doom 2 assets, so it's probably Doom 2, but with Doom 2 it is meant like comp level 2 Doom 2. Like Doom 2 that was designed as it was in 94. But yeah, it's it's such a mess, Doom, and, the, and all the different engines and comp levels. I gotta find a way to streamline the process. I should probably just ask, what did you play this with? To make sure um, stuff like this doesn't happen. But in this case, it wasn't bad. It was like at the start of the map. I think at the end of the video, I'm gonna take a look in Doom Builder and see why exactly it doesn't work. Maybe it's a weird UDMF action? I don't know. This looks like a secret, or... Who detailing here with the... Slime, and also there's a bit of a software rendering bug in the floor, but... Again... This will probably test it with, like, the default GZ Doom settings, like OpenGL... Perhaps even texture filtering, who knows? No hard feelings, I'm just... Pointing out, um... The things you can learn from, I guess. Okay, here's the red key. And this wall's different. I don't think I will actively look for secrets. Okay, uh, red door was... Over here. You know what, I think I'll just throw a save once in a while, just to be safe. So, sub 2. Submission 2. Okay, nice change of uh, environment. I like this, outdoorsy. Now this does look a bit plutonium, it's probably because I'm biased with these fine textures. That's already Plutonia episode 1. Ooh, let's go. I like how the Rekno got revealed like that, instead of just teleporting onto a platform. This looks good. Nice variety of um, grey and brown rock. Also, some shadow here. Very good. Vines. Yeah, Submitter is a novice mapper. was pointed out in the submission uh, description. Oh, wow, look at that. There's some very thin sector art over there. Okay, more revenants. Clearly... Plutonia inspired. Yeah, this feels Plutonia ish. Ooh. Alright, what else do we have? Oh, some uh, collapsed rocks here? I think so. I'm using my imagination here. Does the toxic hurt? Yes, it does. Five damage. This looks like a secret, doesn't it? I guess not. Into the cave we go. Oh, teleporter. Oh, hey. Archie. What are you doing here? I missed my single rocket. That's sad. And there's a teleporter. Um, I'm gonna save just in case. You never know. Oh, another change. Of environment. It's getting dark and gritty. And here's the blue key, probably booby trapped. Whoa. Revenants in the dark. I have 20 rockets though, bring it on. Nice timing with the music. If I just lure them out to this wall, they will probably die. These bars are lowering. Is this an endurance test? Or is there gonna be another? Oh, yep, I heard that. Oh, no, 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 no. Go over here. No corpses here. Yeah, very good. Ooh, this is a very exciting fight. That was good. I really want to check the map for potential secrets, but... With Jesus of Doom, I... Well, I can disable the... Maybe I should disable... Uh, stats... No. Auto map... 
Um, I'm pretty sure they here. Options. Show monsters, no. Secrets, no. There we go. Now we can check the map. Okay, there's a secret over there. Or no, that's the one I already tagged. Okay. Moving on. Blue key. I can use that here. Candle secrets. No. So this is very raw gameplay. Me fiddling with the menu. I'm gonna make a save here. Oh, I nearly missed that. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Getting spicy, aren't we? Can I... Well, can I? Really? Man, Jesus at Doom's auto is freaking... Long range as hell. Okay, I'm just gonna kill the mink. Then... More arch files. Don't think I have enough ammo. Oh, he fell. He got boomed. And it's not a boom map, as far as I know. Well, I think I may have to kill the Ancubus first, actually. Oh, wow. I'm getting wrecked. I mean, I can't SSG the Archfoss, I guess. I'm, I'm, afraid it, I'm afraid they're gonna fall down. Oh, hi. His Archfoss is invincible. Okay, I got some more cells, I can use that. Oh, rockets, there we go. Oh, no. How did he... How did he not zap me? I was... I saw him. Unless the angle was too steep or something. Okay. I heard the flame of the arch fall. Three rockets for you. Three rockets for you. Oh, he fell. Don't resurrect anything, please. No. Well, four rockets for each, then. Cell pack. Nakibus is dead. Let's do some platforming. Also health. This looks good by the way, good lighting here. Nicely done. It's very difficult to make the marble texture not look boring. And I'd say... Oh. I'd say did a good job. Keep the aesthetic interesting. Did you fall again? No. Well... Pushed onto the other platform. Okay, and uh, now... The Revenant. Actually, I don't think the auto-aim for the GZ Doom is any different. Uh, there's a teleporter here. But there's also goodies over here. And I've got a feeling there's something... Yeah, something behind the Bloodfall. Uh, green armor I picked up. And something else, because my health went up to 200. It's probably a supercharge. Alright. I'm gonna drop a save. Uh, we've been here before. Where are we? Oh. Okay. Platforming? Oh, 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 oh. Mean. Well, at least they're not arch files. All right. This is... I don't know why, it reminds me of... Um, Abattoir from Plutonia. It's probably all the brown and the... Sniping games. Okay. Switch. Oh, chain gunners. Yep. Definitely 
Plutonia, right? I'm running low on ammo, actually. I mean, they're chaining us there. They get ammo, but... have to be a bit careful. Okay. Another teleporter, that's another save. And now we're here. Oh, this opened up. Very interesting uh, detailing. Is this the end? Yeah, that's the end. Okay, good thing I saved. And so now I can check the um, stats. Let me see, auto map. Must count secrets. I'm missing two secrets. Should I look for them? Or should I use ADT? I can look a bit. And there's a different texture on the wall here down below. It's probably a alignment um, mistake. Okay, let's just check the map a bit. See if we can see anything interesting. Don't think it's here. I do see something sticking out here. But it's just decoration. Just gonna look around for, I don't know, five minutes maybe? This wall's cracked. Well, most of them are cracked. I got the plasma here. Here we already found a secret. And it's very unlikely there are two secrets in the same area, so I'm just gonna move on. Um, let me see. Where can we go? Don't think there's anything here either. Ah, it's a repeatable switch, that's good. This secret we found already. Maybe something here? I'm gonna use the EDP. Okay, so the last two secrets are over there. Oh, I did see the white the white line up here. So, well, let's have a look. Were they easy to miss? Yay or nay? Let's find out. So there's one here. I think the wall's slightly darker. Or do you... Okay. I think it's a lift. You have to lower. It's probably a switch. Somewhere. Oh no, it's not a switch. Oh, look at that. It's a very, very thin staircase. Wow. That's great. Oh, backpack. Nice. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. What is that? What is that? Is that a shootable switch? Oh, cool. Let's see. Is it going to be a mega sphere? To me, it always feels like a um, secret within a secret always, always gives a mega sphere, and I was right. Okay, so I got all the secrets and all the kills. And there we go. Stellar depopulation. That's a really solid first map, I gotta tell you. That's uh, like um, the submitter yeah, described, it's a very 
Plutonia-like map, or at least inspired by early Plutonia memories. And uh, yeah, and a good difficulty curve, pretty uh, epic MIDI. And I felt like the progress or the, the progression was uh, pretty good too. So for a first map, this is really good. Um, ignore the uh, GZ Doom requirement. Um, speaking of, I will check uh, Ultimate Doom Boulder in just a moment to see why exactly that switch broke. I think it's either a UDMF thing or maybe a boom thing, maybe? We'll have to see. Anyway, yeah, it was a really good map. Thank you very much, Malification. I know on Discord you asked to uh, maybe do a practice run, but uh, I think this is uh, sufficient. So I enjoyed it. Um, if you want to play it, it's in the description. You can uh, check it out. Um, I think you have to play this with GZ Doom, but maybe it's a boom map. I'll have to see um, in the map editor what exactly is causing the switch to fail. So uh, let's go have a look. All right, Stellar Depopulation. Reveal your secrets. Why does this switch not work? in Doom 2. I suspect it's a generalized action. Let's see. Yep, generalized, which means it's a boom map. So as you can see, normally in Doom 2 you have all these predefined actions like door. You could choose whatever door uh, action you want, like uh, walk over, repeatable, close, stay open, etc, etc. But in Boom you have generalized actions, which gives you a lot more control what exactly you want to do with the door. So we have a door, how do we trigger it? Well, you can choose here, walk over, switch repeatable, gunfire repeatable, door once, etc, etc, speed, action, open only or close only, can monsters interact with the door, how long do you have to wait before you close again? So yeah, Boom offers uh, this kind of stuff, whereas the uh, original Doom 2 doesn't, so that's why Comp level 2 didn't recognize this. Like, it's completely unknown. So yeah, that is um, the mystery solved. It was a boom map. So if the submitter said it's a boom format map, I could have played this in DSDA Doom. But of course, GZ Doom is always my safety net, because it can play anything pretty much. Well, except for maybe like 1% of the maps that have like very specific, um, like, exploits in the engine that GZ Doom doesn't support. But yeah, that is um, Stellar Depopulation. Also has some uh, cool teleporter closets, as you can see. Very nicely done. I, um, I really enjoyed this, so yeah, good job. All right, folks, I will see you in submission number three. Have a good day. See you then.